what's up? Welcome back. It's me, the Razor Queen, Tiffany Cosma, and welcome to STQ. Today, I love this not wearing makeup thing. I hope you guys don't mind. It's so much easier to do in the morning. I just get up and go, and today, I'm going to shave. So, awesome. I have been growing my underarm hair for four days, and I know it's so gross. It happens. So we're gonna fix it today. And the way that we are going to fix it is with YBF, Your Best Face Luxury Shave Cream. It says Ultra Glide and Non Lathering. Now I have used this for a few different things, uh, but shaving is not one of them. So uh, Non Lathering, that's new for me. Um, but this one has sage, red cedar, eucalyptus, and a green citrus in it. So let's give it a go now keeping with my personal uh preference we are also going to be using um appreciate today and that's going to be the edwin jagger hydrating appreciate um i am also going to be now and i'm going to be showing you guys a set uh i'm kind of bummed that i'm not using the brush today but i am just chomping at the bit to use the razor so i'm going to do that and that is my 3d printed from Frugal Shave. Love this thing and the matching brush that has a 24 millimeter synthetic, uber soft, I think it's a Nathan Clark. Thanks Nathan. Um, also 3D printed, so cool, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see. First things first, I feel like this is like a totally new experience because I don't have to get a brush and like there's no lather. So it's like something new. Here we go. Start with our Edwin Jagger Puri Shave. And go ahead and get that right in there. Now my hair is a little bit longer. Um, I did that so it would show up a little bit better on camera. Plus I've been so busy this week. Uh, speaking of busy, um, my friends at YBF Skincare um, reached out to me after my first two vids and offered a discount code for you guys. Um, the discount code, it's not case sensitive, but if you go to ybf-skincare.com, and I'll post that below, and the code is RAZORQUEEN35, and that's going to give you 35% off of your item, and all of those details are going to be right below. So go ahead and check that out. And if you guys haven't um, checked out the YBF skincare, um, I, I love it. Uh, the, the shaving cream, if you guys follow my channel, you saw me use it as a facial and it was super moisturizing for my skin and I absolutely loved it. Um, plus they have all of the, they have the control, the correct, um, all of the facial serums and moisturizers that you guys could use as well. So go ahead and check that out, YBF Skincare, and use the code RAZORQUEEN35. All right. So with the scent on this guy, I definitely smell the cedar. Hmm. A little bit of the eucalyptus, but let's see what it is like when we go ahead. And you can see here, like it's, it's, a, it's a cream. Um, I mean, it's a solid cream, but it's definitely a cream. So we'll start off on this side. Um, now Daryl did say that you could use a brush with it, but that it's designed to be used without. So I'm going to use it without. Um, and because, there we go, add a little water. so weird not to be lathering. I kind of feel like, I don't know, I'm rubbing in lotion or something like that or putting the fresh balls on my underarms so I don't have stinky pitties. <sighs> All right, well, let's give this a go. Um, I have not put my blade in. Oh, dang, let me do that. Okay, so this is actually a good uh, faux pas that I did because I can show you guys now how to safely put a razor in a blade. Because if you're new, you might be like, hey, how do I do this? So first things first, now with a three-piece razor, and that's what this is, 
that means the handle comes off. So we're just gonna unscrew it like this. There we go. And now you'll see that the head comes into two parts. Now this is an official Edwin Jagger DE89 uh, with a gold finish uh, for the head. It kind of franken razored it uh, with the 3D printed handle, which is pretty cool. And it's light and it's long, so I like it. I dig it. Uh, today I'm going to rock a Voskhod blade. Now you'll see like I'm carefully just holding it here at the end. That's where I like to hold blades. Um, you could do a lot of different things. You could hold them like this. Uh, a lot of people like to keep them in the paper. You'll figure out what works best for you, but this is what I do, right? So we're going to pop this guy right on top of there. Here we go. And I'm holding the side, as you can see, so I'm not going to cut myself. There we go. Bottom plate is on, and we'll go ahead and screw this back in. So now that I did that, let's see what's going on with my shaving cream. It's pretty much the same. Let's add a little bit of water. It's funny, it like it feels like there's nothing there at all. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I don't know if I did the wrong thing. Daryl did say that, you know, some of the product could be absorbed. Here we go. All right, guys, wipe my hands off. And ready? Now, when you're shaving your underarms with the DE, it's pretty simple. Um, I normally just go top to bottom. Now, in my case, um, that is, uh, somewhat against the grain. I have kind of like, I have a cowlick in my hair and I have one on my underarms too, which is kind of funny. But so it's pretty easy for me just to go straight down. So if you're newer, you don't know your angle yet, what you can do is you could take the head and put it right against your skin like that, let it drop down, and we will shave. There we go. All right craziness. So it did gunk up my razor a little bit. Don't know if I love that. Um, but the shave itself feels super smooth. So in a case like when I get kind of gunk in my razor, can you see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen this part up a little bit. So see how this is just moving slightly and I'm going to run it underneath some warm water. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take most of that gunk off. So see, I just gave it a little bit of space so now it's clean. So again, now what I can do is I can tighten that back up. Actually, it's still gunky on one side underneath. You can see that right in there. So we'll try that one more time. You guys getting excited about the holidays? I am. I'm gonna be in Phoenix. Uh, visiting with my family and I'm really excited about that. I haven't seen them since last Christmas because I've been out here in San Diego. It's funny. It's like they're busy. I'm busy, but it's cool that we're going to get to spend some time together. So for my Phoenix peeps, uh, the Sunday after Christmas, I'm um, going to do a quick little uh, meet up at Oso Brewery uh, for all of my friends around. I'm thinking one o'clock. Um, so stay tuned for more info on that. But I figured shaving people, non-shaving people, it's gonna be kid friendly. We can all hang out, sit down, have one of their bitch and Bloody Marys because they have beef jerky in them and pickles and it's awesome. And it's Oso, uh, which is a neighborhood brewery and always like to support local, shop local. Um, all right, so tangent over. And we're gonna go ahead and go with the other side. You know what, I think, <clears throat> so I, I filmed a different video earlier and I used the straight razor that Anthony Esposito gave me for my birthday. Thanks, Anthony, you rock. So I used it to shave my legs earlier. Don't worry, I videotaped it for you, you'll see it later. Um, but I still have the razor here and I'm feeling a little cheeky today. So let's go ahead and do the other underarm with Anthony's straight razor. There we go. Love this thing. I cannot recall the size, so I apologize. Uh, Anthony, maybe you can post it below, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Wade and Butcher uh, special, which I love. It says Wade and Butcher. Butcher, Wade and Butcher. Fougere, Fougere. 
uh, <laughs> Sheffield, England. So we'll go ahead and we'll just do a quick tutorial because I think that would just be a little bit more fun and we'll do the other underarm. Same deal. So we'll go with the uh, Edwin Jagger Paris Shave. Put that right there. I love my Edwin Jagger products. Some of their um, shaving creams and stuff are so fragrant. Um, but the uh, pre-shave that I like to use is uh, unscented and it's for sensitive to normal skin. So I like that. I like also when it goes on, it feels like it's hydrating that area. And I really appreciate that. So my gratitude, as always, Edwin Dagger. All right, now back to business. Blend number four, let's check this guy out. Should I add a little water into that? I don't know. It seems to be okay without it. But, of course, moisture is always a good call. All right. So, dried my hands. And we're going to go to town with my new weight and budget. Okay. So, as always, arms up. Got your razor and you let it drop down. Dang that sharp. Okay. So, you know, Small feathering strokes are totally cool. The biggest thing with straight razor shaving, and you guys hear me talk about it all the time, is just perfecting your angle. So if you're nervous, do one pass, stop. Change to something else. But if it's going well, you know, you can use your spine as a guide. Put it down on your skin, let it fall. Careful with the hair. Let it fall. We've got our skin stretching going on because of the way that I'm holding my arm back. Go and check out that nonsense. Right? I know. Give this guy a rinse. So I also tried the YBF. Uh, in my shave earlier as a pre-shave and I really really liked it as a pre-shave I love it as a mask, but I have to be honest with you. It, I miss the lather like I like the foam um, I would totally again use the product for a pre-shave or for um, a, a face mask um, But again, you know, but that's just my opinion. I like the foam. I like the cushion I like being able to like really really like I like to get you know I'm a lather junkie. You guys know this. I love my lather. So here we go. Let's just get, and I'm gonna get. Go. Now this part's always kind of a little bit tricky. So we'll get in there. There we go, kids. Epic. All right. So let me give this a rinse and. Towel, go. Now that is a nice shave. Uh, finishing up today with my YBF eucalyptus oil. This is an antioxidant infused oil and it says we infuse three powerful antioxidants into nourishing meadow form seed oil and add peppermint eucalyptus for a green and minty take on the traditional and uh, it does say it says eucalyptus and then peppermint right here um, so this stuff works great on your face um, I love it on my face um, actually the juniper berry was the first one that I used and quite frankly it seems to be the one that like my skin prefers um, but I love it as an aftershave as well. You can put it anywhere, literally. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So here I'm gonna put a little bit on my face. Perfect. 
Well, kids, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you coming by. And don't forget, 35% off at ybfskincare.com. Don't forget, there's ybf-skincare.com. Code is RazorQueen35, and that's gonna give you 35% off. And guys, um, I don't personally benefit <clears throat> from any of the products that um, I put out to you guys. Uh, it, I really literally do it for the love of shaving and I love to save cash too. So if you're so inclined, check out that discount code. Um, sure, Daryl will get uh, his fast shipping out to you. And again, you know, um, I loved the uh, shaving cream as a facial and as a pre-shave as a shaving cream. I don't know, I just find it's a little bit like Vaseline-y, is that not the right thing to say? It's just thick, very thick. So try it. I've had lots of guys say that they absolutely love it as a shaving cream. And that's it for me today. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for posting your comments below. Stay sharp and happy shaving.